what's up everybody this is redline outdoors this is my youtube channel my name is adam sanderson if this is the first time y'all have ever tuned in to redline outdoors i put out all kinds of hunting and fishing content if y'all like that type of stuff go ahead save some time just go ahead and subscribe to the video subscribe to the channel it's free hit the like button the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever i post every time so today we're about to go fishing pretty unique method of way of fishing something a little bit odd different than we grew up doing and this method will catch any any species of fish in fresh water i'm about to get into uh putting out a lot of whitetail content here soon what it is some early season stuff pre-season stuff that y'all would like to see right now uh just to give me a few ideas let's go ahead and get into the video let's get a bait in the water and see if we can catch a fish okay all right y'all i moved to a different pond that other spot where i've been catching them around that stump um has been in the evening and it's usually in the shade and right now it is not there's usually a few more bass in this pond not that that's what i'm targeting but maybe i'll get away from some of those smaller brim This pond is super, I'm talking about clear. So it's gonna be tough. I just had two bass swim up and look at me and swim off. And I can't cast real terribly far with this worm. Oh, there's a nice bass right there. Y'all see him? If I can get past that brim. This... Oh, y'all, that's a bass. Let's toss it back out there. This time I'm gonna have to watch my line a little better. I can see them bass swimming around out there. So I'm gonna try to sight cast this one that way when this worm hits the water, he'll bite it ASAP. There they are right there. Y'all ready? Got him, got him. Got him. It was four of them. They're still with him. Y'all see them swimming together? We're going to catch them other ones. He is right there. I got you, little buddy. I'm going to let him back go. I know that these fish aren't giants. I understand that. Look at him swimming right there. I'm going to catch him, too. There's one, two, three, four other bass the same size as this one. And there's a big bluegill down there. So I'm about to unhook him. And I'm going to let him go down the way a little bit. And I'll be 100% honest with you. I really need to be keeping these fish because this pond is loaded with bass this size. And we need to get some of them out of here. But I don't really want to fool with them. Let's see he's down here so he didn't go tell his buddies that we caught him. And let's go catch his buddies now. All right, y'all, we are back. We're going to put on another worm catch his buddy. This is light tackle. I'm going to go over what I'm using here in just a little bit. But this is made for fun. I'm not trophy fishing. However, we could catch a trophy, and it's going to take some time to get him in. But... Y'all ready? There's a big bluegill. He saw me. Them bluegill are skittish. There's his bass buddies right there. Let's go on and throw out there and catch them. You ready? It's going to be quick. Y'all get ready. Oh, bluegill. I'm talking about he didn't waste no time at all. And he just gave up. You going to fight? I think that that is not a bluegill. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not a bluegill. I think that's a warmouth. Pretty sure that is a warmouth, a.k.a. goggle eye. Y'all leave in the comments below what that is. I'm talking about his mouth is 
big enough that he didn't have no trouble getting that whole worm in his mouth. I hope y'all saw that on video. He just come up there and sucked it in, but just like the other one, we're going to ease down here about 50, 60 yards and let him go. Then we're going to get back in there and catch another one. I don't know where all the fish went. Like I say, sometimes whenever you catch one, you can fire them up, but I'm going to ease it, throw it out there. I sight fished those last two. So y'all get ready. I can see my worm. It's just out there fluttering around. Here comes a brim. We got him. Dude, these, these brim are just like fighting for a second and giving up. That be a shell cracker. That is a shell cracker. That is the third species that we've caught. And that's exactly what I was building this video off of. I mean, if we were keeping fish, we would keep him. He's not a giant. That's the third species that we've caught. We have not caught a bluegill. And we have not caught a catfish. But this method will catch catfish. But the, I doubt we catch any today. Like I said, we are just fun fishing today. It's a beautiful little shell cracker. Hand size. If we were keeping fish today, uh, we would definitely keep him fry him up whole and all i have on it is the hook just a hook no weight no cork super finesse six pound monofilament with a size six aberdeen hook just a tiny hook there's a bass swimming right there y'all see him da -dum. he's looking at me da -dum. Da -dum. that's probably gonna spook him da -dum. Doggone it. That little brim come up there and ate it before that bass did. Alright, that's fine. That's species number one, two, three, four, I think. That bass is right there. Y'all, I'm just going to, I'm tired of walking down that bank. I'm going to turn him loose right here, okay? I mean, that bass is just right there. You would think it's springtime, but it's 110 degrees out here. There goes that brim. There's a bass, a brim, bass. Let's sight cast to those two bass right there and see if we can catch them. A couple of those bass might put me up for a fight. Brim's looking at it. That's the one I wanted right there. All right, we got him. Yeah, look at their nice bass. For this setup <laughs> there we go that's the one i was sight casting at and that's the one i wanted and like i say y'all look how skinny this fish is we need to be keeping them i just don't want to mess with them today get out of there boy now i am going to walk this one down the bank because he's hanging out right here I'm going to walk him down the bank and let him go. It's decent bass right there. Got him. Y'all see that? On light tackle, that is, that is fun. These bass absolutely love these worms. Like... They can't take it. They cannot take it. I got a little bass looking at it. Little brim looking at it. Little bass just ate it. I didn't even see him come from nowhere. I had to, I ain't gonna lie to you, this is fun. These fish ain't even a pound. That one might be, maybe. It's probably the biggest one we've caught yet. But it was a lot of fun. Keep in mind, this pond is super, super 
super clear. I can still see my bait just drifting down. All right, here they come. Y'all get ready. I see him. Get ready. Got it. It's a nice bluegill, y'all. We were keeping fish. We would be keeping him. Nice hand sized bluegill, beautiful fish. And I'm just gonna ease him right in there in these reeds and catch his buddy. Oh, oh, we got us a good one. Golly, look at that. All right, y'all. Before it gets too late, I want to show y'all what I'm using. This is a killer way to catch lots of fish. And you can catch any species you want to. So today, I'm just using a size 6 Aberdeen small hook with a fisherman's knot. This is a 6 pound mono. Uh, I would prefer fluorocarbon, especially in this clear water. And any type of worm earthworm, redworm, whatever for this method will work. And I'm just hooking them in the middle of the in the middle of the worm. Um, it's what is called wacky style. Now you will go through lots of worms like this, but in my opinion you will catch more fish like this when you throw it out there. It just looks so much more um, realistic. Than if it was just threaded around the hook and like a knot, but it just it, that worm's just gonna flutter through the water, especially if he's real active. Whenever they're real active, I mean the the worm does the uh, the work for you. Just throw it out there, watch your line, watch your worm if you can. I can in this water because it's clear. Watch your line and and uh, try to keep a little bit of tension. I don't have any weight, nothing at all. Uh, a larger worm would probably do better as far as feeling bites, but I wasn't able to get my hands on any big worms today. So these are just small red worms. And um, again, it's a great way to catch any species fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. And we got him. We got that little bass. He's gonna get me in the brush. That is going to end today's video. We ran out of worms. Y'all get out there and try this method. I promise you, you will catch fish 
you will get more bites it'll work on lakes rivers ponds streams creeks it don't matter this method will catch fish y'all get out there and try it y'all please give me a big thumbs up thanks for tuning in to redline outdoors we'll catch you on the next one bye good one. Oh, that bass just tried to eat him look at that y'all look at him look at that bass that's a bigger bass than y'all think that's a big old bass y'all been thinking what i need to do for another video it just came to me because i went out there and opened up a barrel of corn i had for deer and water got in it and the maggots are all inside of it. We got some brand new chickens yesterday. And I went ahead and gave them some maggots. There's maggots crawling all in that corn. And chickens love worms, maggots, ticks, all kinds of bugs. You want to go in there? But I'm going to go fishing with some of those maggots here after a while. We're going to... I've got some work that I got to get done. And then later we're going to go swimming. And then I'm going to go fishing this afternoon and see if I can catch some bluegill shell crackers on these big, fat, juicy maggots. Hey, I got a question for y'all. You ready? And I will leave the answer at the end of this video. What? is the loneliest bayou in the world what is the loneliest bayou in the world leave it in the comments below do not cheat don't scroll to the end of the video and see what the answer is leave it in the comments below now all right let's rig one up that's nasty they got a nasty looking mouth on them that's disgusting I'm gonna hook the next one a little bit better than that, but I'm anxious to get my bait in the water. I do wish the wind was blowing just a little bit. It's not blowing at all. There's a bass right on top of that stump. Y'all see it? Oh, he's going to bite my cord. That is a giant bluegill right there. Look at that bass. That's There's bluegill behind him back there. I got my cork a little shallower because I can see those down there. Here they come. Oh, biggin. 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 There was three of them right there. Biggin. I mean, that is a good one. Y'all look at that. Something's wrong with his lip. I'm talking about as soon as it hit the water, three of them came up there. And I ain't fishing but 12 inches deep, maybe. Y'all look at that fish. I'm not keeping fish today because I don't need any. And I honestly don't have time to fool with them. But I'm going to walk down this bank to my right and let this fish go so he doesn't come back right here immediately. So let's get him off the hook. Let's go let him go down here just a little piece. Those fish aren't spooked at all. Alright, let's throw him back. Let's go catch another one. Y'all ready? Here we go. Look at that action, son. 
Look at that. I see one right there. Let's catch him. Here he comes. All right, he got my maggot. <laughs> I'm used to saying he got my worm, but he got my maggot. Let's get another one. Dude, they are loving these. Get that cypress weed out of my way. Like, they can't resist that. Look at them. They getting fired up now. Y'all watch this. Y'all watch. Get ready. Stud. Stud. Another stud. Hooked him in the top of the mouth. Sorry about that. Camera fell. Y'all look how pretty that fish is. Good grief. I would say it was worth digging those maggots out of that bucket. To catch these nice fish. Mmm. We'll see he's over here and let him go. Hitting the water is what's enticing these brim to come up there. I should have brought a rag. Man, that's gross. I'm definitely going to have to wash these pants. Alright, let's get out there. They're fighting over it now. A big one, a big one, a big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that be a shell cracker. He ain't that big for a shell cracker, but if we were keeping fish, he would go in the ice chest for darn sure. That might be a hybrid of some sort. I'm not real, I'm not the best in the world at identifying fish, but y'all tell me. I'm sure I've got some panfish experts watching this. Y'all leave it in the comments below. He's definitely got some shell cracker in him. I don't know. All I know, the one thing I do know is I like to catch them. Here they come. Oh, it's a bunch of them. Y'all look at that. I hope y'all can see that. Look at all them. That bass just tried to eat my brim. Oh my goodness. Did y'all see that? That bass. I mean, he ain't even that big. I mean, I know that would have made some good footage. But, like, he just tried to eat that brim. And I guarantee you, he's going to hang out right here and he's going to try to do it again. There he is swimming. He's about a three-pounder. If I had... If I had my bass rod and a live bait hook, I would try to catch a small brim and I would catch that bass. And I told myself to bring it, but I didn't. This one here is kind of poor. He's a nice fish, but he's just skinny. Another keeper. We are back to back to back on his brim. Got him. Got him. Nice one. Another nice one. Another nice bluegill. Healthy, beautiful, fighting, bluegill. All right, let's let him go. All right, we got another maggot. 
Let's see if we can catch another one. They're hanging out in the shade next to this tree for sure. I think that bass messed those brim that were up. I got another one. Another big one. I'm talking about. Oh, that bass just tried to eat him. That bass just tried to eat him. Y'all look at that. Another nice one. Every one of them went, ouch. We hadn't caught any that swallowed it, and I like that. They've all been hooked in the top of the mouth. We may have found my new favorite bait for panfish. Swimming to me. Whoa. Swimming to me. A little smaller but that's all right it was still fun <laughs> although he swam to me there we go there we go a good one a good one oh that bass just tried to eat him look at that y'all look at him look at that bass that's bigger bass than y'all think that's a big old bass Y'all look at that. That's about a five or six pounder. That is insane. Wow. He's bigger than I thought. Holy smokes. He's still sitting there. Man. That bass was trying to eat this hand-sized bluegill, son. We'll bring a bass rod next time, I guess. Get out of here, boy. I appreciate y'all being with me this afternoon. And if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. So, y'all make sure you hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'm not done. Don't leave. We're going to keep fishing. But before you leave, I've had a couple people say, man, you need to be putting out more content. Well, I need y'all's help. I need y'all to like the video, leave me a comment, and share this. You can share this to one of your buddies straight to him. Just text it to him. Or you can share it straight to your social media on your Facebook. It don't matter. The YouTube al algorithm really likes it. Whenever you hit that like button, leave a comment. And and when it gets views. So I need y'all's help pushing it out there. So, But like I said, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Got a lot of new subscribers right now coming in. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have this channel. So thank y'all for everything you do. All right, we've got two of them on there. Let's go catch another one. Nice, nice fish. Now look at the colors on that fish. How pretty that is. A nice one. Oh yeah. All right. Got us another one. Let's get the pliers. Let's be smart. Let's get the pliers so we don't kill them.
Look at there, it came right out. Yep. Oh, be still, boy. Be still. Open your mouth. So these folks at home can see you. Y'all, I guess I'm gonna, it's time to go. I'm gonna feed these maggots to these brim. Because they done me well today. They did me well today. So I'm going to give them a treat. And that way, when I come back to catch them with some more maggots, they'll know what to, they'll eat them. So let's give them to them. They fist and eat mighty fine right there, boy. All right, y'all. That's going to wrap up today's video. And I've got maggot juice all over me. I had a blast this evening coming out here and catching these panfish, bluegill, and some shell cracker. Hey, I think I may have found my new favorite bait. They loved it. I've been fishing about an hour and a half, something like that. It's time for me to go. I had a good time. I came out here to do what I wanted to do. Got y'all some content, and I appreciate y'all, like always, tuning in to Redline Outdoors, and I hope that y'all have a great evening and i really hope y'all are enjoying these fishing videos make sure you give me a big thumbs up before you leave the answer to the question at the beginning of the video is by yourself the loneliest by you in the world is actually by yourself see y'all next time god bless bye There he is. Got him. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. My name is Adam Sanderson, and this is my YouTube channel. Please forgive me. I am a little bit hot right now. I've been working to catch these fish. If you're new to the channel, this is the type of content that I put out, hunting and fishing stuff. Hey, if you're into that, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell, so you will get notified every time I upload a video. Today, we will be targeting shell crackers and bluegill, bank fishing with red worms. Now, this is my second day in a row that I've gone out to try to get some panfish content, and this is a little bit of footage from yesterday. Little bee sucker. Okay. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna have to do better than that. Don't worry. I honestly don't know what that is. Y'all leave in the comments below. We got a good one now, guys. Finally. Finally. Big bluegill. No, that's a shell cracker. Y'all look at that. Dang, come it. Finally. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Dude, it has been a day. Caught him right there under that boat in that shade. Y'all, if we was going for numbers, we'd be winning. As you can see, we had to weed through the small ones. I caught a million small ones, and I didn't even get to show you all of them. But today, we got on some nice fish. I was blessed by the Lord, and I'm super grateful for that. So let me show you real quick what I was using before we get into the video. So I've got a bobber stop right here, and when you buy them, this is what they look like. That just slides on your line like so. You put your line through there and pull the little bobber stop off. Then you put your bobber stop, your bobber in. You you just put your line inside that hole right there so it'll move freely on the line, okay? Then we have two little small crimp-on weights and a size 6 Aberdeen 
Mustad hook. Simple. There he is. There he is. Yes. That's a that's a shell cracker. Look at that. Guys, look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Chinky pan, shell cracker. Whatever you want to call him. Look at him. All right, let's put him on the stringer. There we go. Let's get in there and see if we can get another one. So I sight fished that last fish actually. Been kind of watching him as soon as I pulled up. Ah, uh, we got a little one. There's a big one looking at it. A lot of times, whenever you roll up to a spot like this, you can get them fired up and really work on them. Then again, sometimes these pond brim are really skittish and you gotta be careful. That's why I'm kinda talking quiet. And I know that they see me up here cause I'm a good, I'm a good six to eight feet above them on this bluff bank. Come on, there he is. Got him. A nice one. I saw him bite it, eat it. Well, I'm having some technical difficulties with my camera. I don't know what's going on with it, but I did get that last shell cracker on footage. It looks like, I think my screen may be going out on me, so I'm gonna do the best I can with it. It's always something, man. Let's get another worm on, see if we can catch some more fish. I just need a couple more fish to make this edit done, and I hope my camera will last for the rest of this trip at least. Oh. Oh. Big old bluegill, boy. Look at there, guys. He ain't as big as I thought. He's still a nice one. Oh, good grief. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes. Look at that, guys. Whew. That is a big one. That's what we are looking for. Starting to rain. I need to go get my stuff and uh, do something with it. Uh, okay, all right. We're doing something now. All right, guys, here we go. What I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord. Oh, good one. Good one, guys. Look at, there's one following it. Y'all look at that. Y'all see how high I am up here? So those fish are hanging out. This, this is a bluff bank and it actually drops off right there. And they're just hanging out right there at that drop off. I'm fishing probably two and a half feet deep. I was fishing a lot shallower and I was catching a lot of smaller ones. So I deepened it up. Looks like we got past the small ones and got some nicer fish. It's about a hand sized brim. Bluegill, that's that's what we want. Let's go put him on the stringer. We are working on the stringer now. It's a beautiful day out here. And I appreciate y'all being with me right now. Thank y'all for watching. Oh yeah, I think we're on them now guys. Y'all look at that. Y'all see that? There's one under it following him. Mm. 
That is a good bluegill. He didn't get my worm. Y'all won't believe it, but that last one when I was... Oh, he got away too. <laughs> Y'all won't believe it, but that last bluegill when I was putting him on the stringer. He slapped, got out, got out of my hands. He got away. So did that one. Dang. I'm just glad to be catching some bigger fish. This muggy, muggy, muggy. Like I say, it's been raining all day. Y'all, these fish are just swallowing it. Okay, I think we saved him. He swallowed it, but uh, he's not bleeding, so we're gonna let him go. I think he's got it. Oh my goodness. That takes skill. The smallest one of the entire trip. Goodness. See you, buddy. That was almost bad. I almost got hit in the head by a little stick. Wow. Mm. Did y'all hear that? As soon as it hit the water, caught that one. I'm down here in the woods in this little creek where it shallows up. Shallows up. Pretty little bluegill, but not quite what we're looking for. I'm trying to be quiet because this water's real skinny right here. That's a shell cracker, small one. Not what we're looking for. Let's get it back out there. I don't have much time left. We've had a good time. Caught some fish. Caught some nice ones, so we can't complain. But as you can see, I'm down here in the woods. And it's starting to rain again. Let's get another worm and get back out there. bass <laughs> little fella be still be still boy y'all look at that little bass down here in this skinny water this creek pours into the pond right here still fun who cares let's let him go That might be a decent one. We'll take him. All right. I deepened it up a little bit. I've got a whole worm on there now. I'm gonna put him in my backpack in the cooler part and I'll transfer him to the stringer in a minute. Okay, there's a good one. There's a good one. Come on. Let's get him in. All right. Thank you. All right. Be still. Beautiful. Look at that, boy. I'm going to do like Richard Jean and say, Whoa! I can't do it quite like he can. Oh, 
biggin oh biggin biggin and then we got to go yes yes all right we got to go i had a whole red worm on there look at that all right we got to get out of here put him in my little let's put him in my backpack cooler and then we're gonna get a thumbnail and then we gotta go Whew. yeah all right guys i've got to get out of here i could sit here and catch some more of those fish i wanted to but we will be cooking those fish up at the fire station tomorrow and this is it right now all right y'all we're gonna transfer the robin to my bowl Get a couple fillets, throw in there. Get some sauce. Get a fork. So we got a piece of a fillet in there and some ramen and I'm trying to film this myself and it's always difficult but let's give this I'm hungry let's give this a taste here we go very doggone good mm. that's good This is just another recipe. Like I said, I saw it on Outside the Levy. It's Jerry Serenade's YouTube channel. I saw him cooking something similar to this, and I wanted to give it a try, and it's easy. So y'all know me. I like to cook easy stuff. So y'all give this a try. It's just something different. Y'all can cook y'all's fish. You can use any type of fish. It don't really matter. So I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's video. I'll catch y'all in the next edit. God bless, and y'all have a good evening. Catch y'all next time. See you later. What's up everybody welcome to redline outdoors this is my youtube channel my name is adam sanderson thank y'all for tuning in today taking time out of your day and watching me go fishing but i want to give a special shout out to cow cow they sent me a sweet pair of deck boots and i'm out here trying them out fishing y'all check these out these boots are pretty doggone comfortable and they go on really easy pretty neat little boot and very comfortable. Perfect for out here fishing. There we go. Little bass. Barely hung. Caught him in the top of the mouth. There's number one. Y'all, I'm just hooking these shiners in the mouth like so. There we go. That's fun. That's fun right there. That ain't real big, but we're using six pound line and a light, light spinning reel.
using shiners. That's number two. See how I'm hooking him right there in the mouth? That's what I'm doing. You can hook him however you want, but that's how I prefer to do it. Y'all see that shiner working its magic out there? Stuck him. Y'all, this will flat out catch him. The way I got this rigged up makes them, makes them look natural. They can't take it. Guaranteed fish. There ain't a whole lot of big bass in this pond, and I need to be keeping these. Big time. I can see fish all out in here. That's number three. We got them worked up. Let's catch another one. All right, y'all, let's toss it out there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I got a limb right above my head and it makes it a little tough to cast her out there. Oh man, I saw him, he smoked it, boy. I'm talking about, we got him worked up. We got a school bass out in front of us and we have him fired up ready to eat ready to chow down hey y'all look at that he smoked it almost swallowed it one day we're gonna come out here and keep these bass and have us a little fish fry It didn't get in his gills. That bass is fine. Let's keep going. We got us a big and big old shiner now. Here we go. Let's toss her on out there. He's grinding. No, oh, look at that. Y'all look at him. I'm gonna tighten my drag a little bit. That one's a little better. That one's a little better, y'all. How about it? Y'all get outside, go fishing. Go hunting. Enjoy God's creation. That shiner's still alive, but I think I'm gonna get a fresh one. Y'all out here fishing with these cow cow boots. They're pretty darn comfortable. They're the uh they're the deck boots. Pretty doggone comfortable. Got us another big old shiner. Just kind of letting my shiner do the work. Y'all can see them struggling. But a fresh shiner will catch you fish. An active shiner. And I'm just kind of popping it a little bit. Exciting that shiner. There's fish watching it and I just got bit. Missed him. I saw him roll on it. But I'm just letting that shiner do the work and I'll pop it two or three times to wake that shiner up again. Then he'll go to work again. Oh, it's a nice, beautiful September day out here. Bow season is right upon us. Here in Louisiana, it's not far away at all. I guarantee you I'm about to get bit. We're bit. Hey, he struck at it. There, there we go. Y'all look at him fighting. He's mad. He's mad. We could have already had a mess of bass fillets by now. Right in the top of the mouth. That's perfect. Eating. Look at that. One fillet, two fillet. Crispy, thin and crispy. 
Y'all look how big that one is. Think he'll catch me a fish? I think so. That sucker's so big, he only, he takes the cork down by himself. I ain't gonna know if I get bit. Doggone, boy. There we go. There we go. Y'all looky there. That one's a little healthier. Oh. Be still, boy. Be still, boy, girl, whatever you are. One thing I know you ain't, you're not a cat. Nice little bass. He didn't play around when he hit it. I don't know if y'all saw that, but he's feisty. He's liking this cool weather. So am I. They go crazy right before one of these bass is checking out that shiner. Those shiners go crazy because they see that predator fish coming up there. Y'all get ready. We fish and get bit. Oh, we got bit. Oh. That's a little bit nicer one there. All right. Y'all, he wasn't coming off. He wasn't coming off. Y'all check out that nice bass. We just fun fishing. That's what it's all about, right? Just fun fishing. And I promise you, if you match your gear with the size fish that you're catching, it don't matter. It's still fun. Toss it out there. Give her a twitcheroo. There's no weight. Remember, there's... No oh, we got hit. We got hit. Smoked it, boy. Remember, there's no weight on here, so that shiner is just out there moving freely. No restrictions from a weight. Here in just a minute. There he is. We're tearing them up, y'all. We've got this whole big old beautiful pond here, and I've had no reason to move, so... Other than if we wanted to go try to catch some bigger ones, we could, but I'm happy with this. Wrong way, fella. Wrong way, fella. Let's catch a few more. I've got plenty of fish uh, caught for this edit. All right, y'all. It is time for me to show y'all what I'm fishing with. Once again, y'all see me use this combo right here a lot on this channel. This is a Wally Marshall Speed Shooter Lose six pound. I've got monofilament on here. And just a regular styrofoam cork. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a, it's just a small red shiner hook. That's not, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's got a longer shank on it. Um, I probably get, could have gotten away with a little brim hook the hook's really not that important but just a regular old fisherman's knot and a shiner i'm just hooking them in the mouth got your shiner be careful not to hook him in the brain just hook him in the lips you're not um going through any bottles on this minute that way he'll stay good and alive so no weight today because I don't really want to necessarily, the fish aren't deep right here. It is warm out. They're active and I want this shiner to just kind of swim freely and do whatever he wants to do. That's all I'm using today. There we go. I think I'm going to call it after this fish, y'all. Oh, look how pretty that one is. See, he's a little darker. Be still, boy. I 
Thank you, good Lord. Thank you, good Lord. Hooked in the top of the mouth. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really appreciate y'all coming to my channel and giving me a visit. If you like what you saw, go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button, the like button, notification bell. That way you will get notified every time I post a video. But it's almost deer season here in Louisiana, so we'll see what happens. I Hopefully we'll get on some deer. So cow cow, I really appreciate y'all sending me these sweet deck boots. They will definitely come in handy for my YouTube channel. Thanks again for reaching out to me. I love these boots. I tried them out today for the first time. And for all my viewers out there, I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to get your own cow cow boots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tinley, you ready to go fishing? Yes. What kind of fish you want to catch? Catfish. Okay, let's go. Well, we're pulling up to the place right now. This show does bring back memories, Tinley. Yeah. I was dating your mama whenever I. This is where she lived whenever I first started seeing your mama. Wait, what? Yeah. all right so today i actually already had these rigged up from the river normally i wouldn't use this big of a weight in a pond Dad? hang on baby i'm talking to the camera okay. Wait, what? Are you and we're using circle hook with a snail knot and like i said these weights are already on here and i didn't want to re-rig but this is a three ounce weight Carolina rig with a bead down to my hook. And today we're going to be using beef liver and I marinated it in garlic. Daddy? Mm hmm? Can catfish make, um. Well, it smells good. Can catfish make, oh, uh, with glass? Beds. Grass beds? Yeah. We're gonna hook it twice. You ready? Yeah. Show show me where you want me to throw it. I'll let you decide. Yeah. Uh, there. Straight ahead? Yeah. Ready? Maybe you can do that. Hmm? Maybe you can do that? Absolutely. That is so far. I'm going to sit down on the glass. Okay. We'll just put this right here on this rod holder. I see. I don't like that. Then what is it? Here, baby. Come on. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. Up there. And it's all you, okay? I'll come help you. Whoa. You're all right. Look at that. Here come the dogs. It's all right. Fish. Your fish is on the line. It's heavy. No, you don't. You got it. No, I don't. It's hard. That is real hard. I know. Look at him. Look at you go. Good job. I saw his whiskers. Is he big? Yeah, it's a good one. He's getting wet. There he goes, Tinley. We're gonna let him go. Okay. Tell him bye. Bye bye. Mr. Catfish. Yeah, Mr. Catfish to an ugly. <laughs> That one was real heavy. <clears throat> was that fun? Yes. Hmm? 
You ready? Yeah. Here you go. Hold it up here. No, it ain't. <laughs> Get him in. I'll tell you what, put put this under like this. Oh, yeah. There you go. How's that? Good job. Big old catfish. I'm just gonna pull him this way because he's good. You better get him. I can't, he's right already. He's like trying this thing. Good job. He's got this thing. He pointed. Are you still in the water? We ain't even got to put out the second pole yet. It kind of looks like the same fish. He's not. The hell? Is something on there? Because the line doesn't look straight. Oh, it's a big one, Tanley. Here. How do you know it's a big one? Because it's heavy. Yeah. What you got? A fishy. Huh? A fishy. He's like big as this. He's like big as this big thing. Good job. Catfish, look at me. That was a heavy one. You having fun? This is a blast, huh? They're biting good. You almost ate a little bait. What if there's some what if there's some nest over there? Some nest. Yeah, I can't see that thing. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. This is a perfect day. Why you say that? We can go fishing in the boat. We need. We can't even put the second pole out because they won't leave this one alone. Maybe they like this pole. I think they got your bait. There he is. You ready? Yeah. There he is. Here. Oh boy. Ouch. Reel it up. Oh, it got your hair. Sorry. Oh, this fish is heavy. Pick your pole up just a little bit. Yep, yeah, there you go. You are a fishing machine. What? What's a fishing machine? This is cute. This is a big fish, I just know it. Oh, that's the biggest one yet, Tinley. I hope we get it. This is the biggest one yet. He is? Yeah. Get him right All right. That's good. <laughs> it's heavy. I can't even get you good. It's not a water moving. Okay. If there's a water moving, that means there's a fish. Man, I smell the garlic on this liver. It smells like nasty fish. Ready? Yeah. 
Probably right there. Okay. Where? Oh, right there. That's Open where you want it. Open already eats it. Okay, here we go. Throw it in. I think you're in the spot where I put it. Here, just hold it and get ready. Okay. Reel up the slack. Really slowly right now? Reel up the slack. You see how there's a bow in the line? Mm. Get the line where it's straight. Is it straight today or no? Reel it up a little bit. Oh, give me a bite, Daddy. Oh, that is a baby. Here, baby. Why for me? Here. Why for me? Why for me? Reel it. It's not even heavy to me. Okay, maybe it is. Smoking. That's fake. Got it. You got him? That's so hard. I think I need Where are you on it? Let's throw it straight out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It seems like there's a lot of fish in front of us. Oop, oh, you're getting a bite. You want to do it? Yeah. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. No, wrong way. Put it under your other arm. I can't. I don't know how to roll this thing in. Oh, that's it. Hurry. Reel it. Oh, he's on there. Oh, he's a big one. Pick your rod up a little bit. Yeah. This one's heavy. You see him out there? Yeah. Oh, he's hard. Hmm? He's hard. Good. That's what? what you asked for. You wanted a big one. Yes, I did. Something is still biting it. Is it still biting? Oh, yeah. Because I can feel those muscles. You feel them muscles working? It's all eating the whole thing. Where is he at? Where is he? Pick your rod. Pick your rod up. Pick your rod up. Oh my goodness, it's a big one. Oh yes it is. It's going the wrong way direction. Why am I talking like fish? Oh geez, I can't even roll this thing in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's probably the biggest fish I ever catch before. <laughs> That's a good one, Tinley. You ready? Yeah. Oh, he got away from me. Yeah. Tired. We probably caught 15. Oh, that's awesome. Cedar, get back. Tex. Yeah. You like the puppy dogs? Look at that fish got me. So you yes, you yes, you bought all the crap. I'll let you know. Ah. I bought the home camp. There he is, Timmy. Here. Hope he didn't swallow it. Get closer to the. You go really all the way up. I bought the home camera and. Um, two other cameras with it, and he, what he does is he'll give you a. Uh, Stop. Stop. Huh? You watch YouTube? You don't watch YouTube? You don't watch Ryan's World? Well, that's on YouTube. <laughs> this, this is what I'm doing. I'm filming for YouTube. I got a YouTube channel. You want to be on TV? It? Here, buddy. Come on. You don't want to catch it? Come on. You come on. Here, you can do it. 
Reel them up. There you go. Get closer to the end. Good job. There you go. Look at that. He's talking to you. Was that fun? Hmm? He wasn't coming off. Cool fish, huh? Give me five. Oh! He got one, Tinley. I bet that's fun. Is that fun, Gentry? <laughs> <laughs> it break yep you got one all by yourself good job perfect well, that was easy. Yeah, that's why we want to do it. <laughs> you want to do it again? Yes. Was that so much fun? Hmm? Yeah. I'm gonna try to touch it again. Daddy, something bad is here. I don't know, baby. It's 40 acres for 400 grand. Whew. I ain't gonna sell it, because it's not in Lincoln Parish. Yeah, something. Let me see. No. Oh, it was here. Sorry. Get him. You were right. Oh, you're gonna break that rod. There you go. Is that fun? Yeah, as far as it'll go. Whoa. Let go. There he goes. Dad. What? Oh, you, got the one. you did that all by yourself. But help. But help? Yes. What you need help for? He's heavy. Good. Yeah, There he goes. Ready? Yeah. Alright guys, appreciate y'all coming with us. We caught a bunch of fish, didn't we, Tinley? The bait didn't even hardly hit the bottom before they started biting again. We had a great time. This is an awesome way to get kids started fishing. Take them in ponds, get them on some fish, and, and uh, let them have a good time. So. Appreciate y'all coming. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, and we'll catch y'all next time. Do it. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Appreciate y'all tuning in to this video. Let me set the stage for today. We're going to be doing some fishing back here. Uh, I brought two baits and uh, we're going to be fishing with a spider today. 
and it's uh made by lunker hunt i brought this white one and i've got a black one that's already tied on so let's get out there i brought my waders uh just in case i didn't i'm not gonna fish in one of these boats today in case i want to ease around this pond it's just a bunch of timber uh you really can't fish off the bank so i'm gonna have to do some wading so let's try this old nasty hideous looking spider and uh see how it does and uh y'all stay tuned let's set the conditions it's about 55 degrees which is a little cooler than i thought uh it's gonna be sunny today and right now it's calm so we're only gonna fish for an hour or two and uh let's see what we can get into we might catch a monster i don't know i really didn't even like tying this bait on because i hate spiders so if it's to put my waders on let's get right to it appreciate y'all tuning in make sure you hit that subscribe button the like button the notification bell let's go fishing okay just so you're forewarned there's a giveaway inside this video so make sure you watch every bit of this video all the way to the end. Good luck. There, there's that nasty thing. Today we're going to be using a Dobbins rod. This is the Colt series. <laughs> Heavy, fast, 7.3. And a loose Mach 1 speed spool seven to, i'm sorry and a loose mach one speed spool seven to one gear ratio i think that's a 40 pound braid and i can't really remember what brand it was nonetheless it's braid let's get out of here If I remember right, there's a pretty good beaver run right there. We're gonna have to go around it because it gets deep. There he is. There he is. There he is. Look at there. Okay, as soon as it hit the water and I made about two twitches, he bit it. Not a very big one, but uh, right on the top of the mouth. He's going to be fine. All right. All right. Let's let him go. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. all right that was that was that should be a pretty good <laughs> blow up on camera thing I'll say about this bait is it hooks them. So 
so I've thrown in there multiple times. And finally, made one mad enough to bite it. Nice fish. Nice little pond fish. Alright, alright guys, beautiful, pretty fish, let's let him go, he's ready, he just came up and sucked that sucker right in, right out here in the open. Well, it's been about, uh, 40 minutes since I've caught one but both of them I caught were hit it sucked it in pretty good this uh this little bait hooks them I will say that that's one thing I do like about it there's several things that I don't like about it and I'll talk about that at the end of the video All right, right on the top of the mound again. Another fish on the spider. That's number three. Pretty little fish. All right. They blew up on it pretty good. That's what I want to see. And I kind of, I kind of hesitated on my hook set because I didn't quite feel him yet. And <sighs> But we still got him. That was another one that uh he gave me some grace he'd already started taking off swimming with it he started swimming to me he 
he started swimming to me and I was able to I couldn't tell if he still had it so I think that's number four on the spider Let him go. Okay. Like I say, I was on the way back to the truck, but uh, I think we got a little bit of a pattern put together. I was trying to catch these fish inside this grass, but uh, in the open spots. But it looks like they're hanging out in the on the edges of this grass so I was able to figure that out but now I don't know if I want to go put that white one on I don't think I am let's keep fishing okay Things are looking up. All right, that's a nice one. Right on the top of the mouth, y'all look at that. Every one of them. And the angle of these little hooks, I mean they are in there how about that beautiful fish thank you buddy just let him go oh thank you lord i'm Really hoping there's not any alligators in this pond. A couple years ago, they did see one in here, and I don't really know what happened to it, I think. I think that's what they said, or, or a nuisance guy come and caught it. I can't remember. But I really hope there's not one in here right now. All right, let's keep fishing. Hey, hey, hey. I'm glad you're friendly. Are you a good boy? Well, he just barely sucked it in. That was about the, I don't know, third cast that I've made over there. I guess he had to get a couple looks at it before he wanted it. We enticed him just right. I hadn't, knock on wood, we hadn't missed any. I'm impressed with the hooks on this thing. Usually on stuff like this, like your frogs and all, it's a smaller bait, so it's a smaller profile. So they don't have a real hard time. But these fish are wanting this thing. Let's let him go. It's about 8.30 right now, something like that. I really want to catch a big one. I am 
grateful to catch what we've caught so far, but really want to catch a big one. I've never, this pond right here really doesn't fish like a pond. It's usually pretty tough to catch fish out here, to be honest with you. And I've never just come out here and wore them out except one time. And the wind was blowing about 30 miles an hour and I caught them all on a spinnerbait. But this pond usually fishes like a lake it doesn't really fish like a unpressured pond for whatever reason and it could be because nobody i don't know Look at there. Mm-hmm. They swallowed it. He swallowed it. He just barely sucked it in too. Another nice bass. Beautiful. Mm, post spawn bass. Let's see about letting him go. Hmm. All right. That's the main reason I came to this side of the little pond, big pond, whatever, is to fish this area right here. getting hot boy these waders are hot the last several fish that I've caught have just sucked it in so that tells me that they're swimming up to it getting a good look at it and still eating it okay if they were blowing up on it that usually means that they're coming from a further distance and it's kind of somewhat a aggression strike a reaction strike with them sucking it in like that means they they're just right there by it and they're actually swimming next to it looking at it and deliberately eating this bait so that's a good sign that they're that means they're getting a good look at it and they're processing in their brain that it's uh it's real it's bait and it's something we can eat and just sucking it in dang that's the first one i've missed mm, right there where i caught that other one i might have pulled it out of his mouth Holy smokes. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There's a big old snake over there. That's got to be a water moccasin. Good grief. Man. Glad he ain't coming my way. It's a big one, or bigger. <clears throat> ah, he just had some grass on him, but he's a nice one. <clears throat> All right.
got here. Looked him in his tongue. Ouch. I've already thrown over there a couple times, but I've been fan casting this, this little cove here. And uh, made another cast over there. He smoked it. He's bleeding a little bit, but I don't I don't think we got in his gills. Oh nasty spider. I hope not. I think that's his tongue bleeding. Alright, let's let him go. Nice fish. Dang. They are smoking it now. I actually just came from way over there on the other side of the pond where I caught that last one. Walked all the way back around. Came right here. I wanted to fish this edge again because it's still in the shade. We caught some decent fish today, haven't we? Y'all agree? Let's throw him back. Come on, biggin. Give me a biggin. Man, that's a, <coughs> they're starting to get a little bigger. <coughs> Dad gummit, I got that hook in my finger. Don't you shake. I think these fish are so hard to get off with this bait is because this the bait's not very big and these hooks aren't real big to get your fingers on to, to get them off. I'm trying to be real careful with this fish. All right, we got it. Sometimes when you do that, uh, when, when they get hung like that, you're coming in from the top, you can come in real easy under their gills. You just got to be careful and pull that hook down. Pretty fish. Here he goes. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Oh, I need to get out of here. But... 
I was pretty impressed with this little bait for uh, for the first time to take it out, but there are a few things that uh, I did not like about it. Um, the first thing that I noticed is typically whenever you use a, a baits like this that float and you want to use them in the grass, um, they're aerodynamic, therefore they slide through the grass easy and they don't pick up any grass, but uh, these little legs on this spider they pick up just about everything, all the little grass and moss and everything like that. So, fortunately, today the gra the the bass weren't uh, thick in the grass. They were actually on the outside of the grass edge, so they were in clean water. So it worked out for me today out here. I was able to make a somewhat of a pattern. I, I, I think I caught one that was inside actually inside the grass and that could have been because i <clears throat> every time i throw in the grass i would catch something but even it's got these little eyeballs on it even those little things would catch grass but uh it's, if you're fishing some thick nasty grass where you can pick up a lot of stuff nah um the other thing that i didn't like about it was it's almost like a, a buzz bait as soon as it hits the water you better start working it because it's going to slowly start sinking and i did uh, I was squeezing the water out of it to, uh, you know, so it, to help it float. But um, unlike unlike a frog or a rat, uh, didn't it does not float. It, I mean, it starts sinking really slow as soon as it hits the water. So kind of like a buzz bait, go ahead and start working it as soon as it hits the water. And I found the best way to work this thing was just twitch your rod, reeling it in, twitching your rod, and I couldn't ever really stop it because um, whenever you stop it, it's gonna start sinking and then you gotta get your momentum back as far as getting it back up on plane to uh, uh, to start working again. But the good thing about it is um, every one of these fish I caught, none of them got off. I missed one fish with it and every one of them was hooked like a son of a gun. Uh, these hooks are super sharp and it, it actually does have some good action whenever you're working it on the water. Um, Whenever you twitch it, it just kind of does this on top of the water. And those little legs put a lot of action into this bait. Um, clean water and some grass, I wouldn't throw it in lily pads. Uh, you can probably get away with throwing it in lily pads. You know, it's got some openings, you know, pick your cast, pick your spots. But uh, overall, yes, I will, I would use this bait again. And uh, an advantage to this bait is uh, probably not many people have this bait in their tackle box because they think it's a, a bait that catches fishermen not fish and although we were in a pond today you know they're not pressured but uh we every one of them was hammering it they wanted it we hooked them in the top of the mouth we didn't miss but one so that's like i said that's abnormal so i, I i'm not scared to use this bait again anywhere i'd use this thing in a lake it's hideous Kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. There's some people out there that probably couldn't even tie this on their line because they, they hate spiders so much. But, uh, guys, I want to do a giveaway because uh, I hit a 1,000 subscribers probably about two weeks ago and I uh, hadn't made an announcement or, or anything like that. But I, I just want to do a small giveaway right now. I plan on doing some more, so y'all make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to give away a red line hat, a red line decal, I don't have any more in stock just like this right now. And I'm gonna actually mail you this actual bait. A hat, a decal, and this actual bait I caught all these fish on today. To the first person that comments in the comments below, comment spider, that's it. You're gonna get a hat, a decal, and this spider. So make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be doing some more giveaways here soon in the future. And uh, the first person comment spider in the comments wins this actual bait and a hat and a decal and i'm gonna mail it to you so y'all stay tuned subscribe and i plan on doing several give giveaways in the next few videos and uh, i appreciate y'all watching coming with me today i had a blast uh it's nice to get out of the house and catch some fish i've been on turkeys for a while and uh kind of gonna get in the fishing swing and and getting getting some uh Spots ready to deer hunt, and I started on that yesterday. So if y'all are deer hunters, make sure you check out the channel because this channel is mostly about deer hunting, to be honest with you. Beautiful day.
Good morning, everybody. This is Red Line Outdoors. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all for tuning in today. I'm headed to South Louisiana to St. Bernard Parish to meet up with my buddy Jared Serenade at Outside the Levees. Uh, we became friends here in the past couple months, and I told y'all I was going to come down here and do a collab with him. And we were just now able to nail down our schedules and make this happen. So make sure y'all go to his channel. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. Go to his channel, subscribe to it, and make sure that you let him know that I sent y'all over there. Comment on his next video and say Redline sent me over here. All right, I'll catch y'all in South Louisiana here shortly. Let's go. y'all i finally made it down here to st bernard Parish with my buddy jared serenade down south of levees i just stocked up on some supplies here at hooking line here in st bernard jared was also kind enough to let me borrow his piro his crab traps a bunch of bait now, this is this is what's gonna catch them right yeah, here that's boy. where it's at that's what they like <laughs> and look break pieces you don't have to use whole word there we go and whatever we film will also be on my channel outside the levee so come check us out i'm very honored to have this man down Absolutely. there's a little bit of country a little bit of bayou and we're gonna have fun heck yeah all right y'all i just got checked into the hotel this is where i'll be staying while i'm here marina inn and suites in chalmette louisiana i'm about to put the piro in see if i can go catch some brim or maybe put out some crab traps and go from there and see what happens Okay, all right. There we go. I don't think he's gonna make it. He swallowed it. All right, y'all, I just started fishing there. I didn't quite want to put that kayak, that Piro in, because uh, we've got a storm blowing through here shortly. I wasn't too sure, but we got one, so I'm going to put him in the cooler. He's just right here by the hotel. Maybe we can get into a couple of them. Oh, boy, what we got here? Bass. Look at there. Look at there, boy. We'll take what we can get. All right, y'all, we got us a little bass. We'll take what we can get right now. He's got some fillets on him. <laughs> on a red worm, right here on the side of the road. Y'all, look at that. I didn't know there's a fish on there. <clears throat> That's an invasive species here. You can't let these go. I'll wash them off so y'all can see them. Y'all see that? It's actually a pretty fish, but you can't let them go. They're invasive here. Uh, I think they call these a cichlid. So we're gonna keep him. <laughs> Ain't that something? I see these guys on YouTube catching these all the time. But that's my first one. I apologize for the uh, wind noise in my microphone. I'm gonna do the best I can. But we're gonna keep him. Probably gonna wind up eating him or using him for bait, one of the two. That's pretty cool. I like it. Rain thunderstorms i hope not but this white cap from further out 
I'm glad I got a little bit of wisdom not to put that kayak in. So let's keep fishing, see if we can find some more to eat. Not quite big enough. Y'all look how hard the wind is blowing. It's blowing that fish sideways. Yeah. Look at him. That's a good one. You want him? I was going to cook him. There's a good one. I'm going to put him in my bag, the cooler part, so I ain't got to go to the truck. I'll get him on ice shortly. There we go. <laughs> you need some bait? <laughs> We're gonna let him go. Not a bad one. Pretty fish. There we go. That's a good one. Look at that. He's alright. Y'all look how pretty that fish is. right under that dock over there <laughs> all right y'all looks like we found a few brim that's a good thing these brim seem to be stacked up right here on the corner of this dock all right let's drop back in there and see if we can get another one that ain't gonna work be some good catfish bait Seems like they're getting smaller. I ain't complaining though, we're catching fish. All right, we're gonna let you go, be still. Right there on the seawall. Let him go. Well, guys, this is what I'm using. This is just a red worm, small brim hook, two little split shots, using six pound monofilament, and just a cork, small cork. Fishing right here, probably a foot and a half deep, something like that. Easy setup, nothing to it. A uh, small spinning reel. I'm not sure what size it is. This is just a speed shooter, a loose speed shooter, and a Wally Marshall speed shooter rod. 6.6 six, medium light. Perfect for this. There we go, we hooked up again. If I didn't have a few, I might keep these, but I've got a few already, so. Fun nonetheless. Just let him go.
That might be a keeper there. Feels like it. He'll do. Not a giant, but a nice fish. There we go. What we got? Cichlid. Another Mayan cichlid, I think they call them. All right, y'all, so I'm back home and I'm working on this edit for this video that I did while I was down in South Louisiana with Jared Serenade outside the levees. And I misidentified this fish on video. I kept calling it a Mayan cichlid. I don't know why, but that's just what was coming to my head. But this is actually a Rio Grande cichlid. They are invasive here in Louisiana and there's actually a kill order on these fish. You cannot possess these fish alive and you cannot throw them back. Whether you throw them in the woods or take them home and eat them or whatever, you cannot, you, you cannot keep these fish alive. Another cichlid. There we go. Another cichlid, dang. Guys, we're getting in these, getting into these invasive species. Man. No, uh, I've actually got a YouTube channel. And I figured that when yeah. I seen you on I'm, I'm meeting the guy, uh, you know, Jared Serenade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm I'm doing a collab with him. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you get back to the hotel? Uh, not yet, I just got here. Just got yeah. He's fixing to come by here in a minute. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, check it out when you get time. Oh, yeah, I will. You'll be on TV if you want to be. Okay. Redline Outdoors. Redline. Yep. Yep, I'll be fishing with him tonight and, and tomorrow. There you go. All right, man. All right, man. I got it. All right, y'all. We're back at Jared's house. We're about to fry up those brim and Mayan cichlids. Is that how you say it? <laughs> uh, Rio Grande cichlids. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all wrong. Rio Grande cichlids. And see how they taste. <laughs> All right. all right so all i did here was uh uh you know we cleaned those brim we took all the scales off took the heads off took the guts out and then we dipped them in an egg wash and then we dipped them in some fish fry and then i've let them set in the refrigerator for about five hours just to really let that all that bind onto them fish real good got my hot oil here going at 375 we're gonna drop them fishy fishies don't put too many in don't crowd your pot too bad four at a time something like that you know almost done just about there 
Now, I don't know if you like to eat the tail, but <laughs> everyone oh, yeah. always comments on the videos for me to eat the tail. I'm like, I ain't eating no freaking tail. I eat the tail. <laughs> all right, well, that's all you, bro. I'll eat the tail. You can have them. All right, and that's pretty much it right there. As my friend Rachel with Fish Shack likes to do, if you can poke that with a fork and it don't break, it's done. If it breaks, it needs to go a little bit longer. Not bad for hanging out at the hotel though, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's before you, your trip even gets started, you get to get on that right there. That's right. Out at the hotel. That's that right. Not bad at all. All right, y'all, here we go. We got them fried up to golden perfection. That's what you get when you visit St. Bernard. Absolutely. Let's see how they taste. I'm going to start the hotel. with the hotel. Yeah, from the hotel. I'm going to start with the fins, Jared. Uh, do I have to do it? Yeah. Do I have to try it? That's the best part. You don't taste nothing. It's no. like a potato chip. Like a potato chip. That's not bad at all. Uh-uh. Mm. All right, guys, there you have it. We're going crabbing tomorrow, so let's see what we get into there. Y'all make sure y'all go over to Outside the Levees. I will leave his YouTube link in the description box below, and we'll catch y'all tomorrow. See you later. What's up, everybody? Appreciate you tuning in to Redline Outdoors. And I honestly can't remember if I did the intro for this video or not. I probably didn't because hey, the fishing's been tough. It's been tough. Lots of seaweed out there. But uh, I woke up this morning. Let me set the conditions for today. I woke up this morning and it was it was raining pretty hard pouring down. And um, I was going to go anyway. So uh, as soon as the daylight broke, broke. I headed out to the beach and it completely stopped raining. Um, it, ra it rained a little bit on my walk out there, but it completely stopped. The Lord bless us with a great day today. Um, as you can see, I, as I said, the seaweed has been terrible. As you can see, there's a little blue spot right over there. And that's where I caught most of my fish. I was able to get my bait in the water long enough not to get seaweed on it and uh seaweed on my hooks did cost me several fish i saw lots of fish swimming up to my bait and they look at it and swim off and i also saw lots of redfish swimming right there four or five feet off the surf right there just cruising up and down but they were some big ones but they didn't have nothing to do with me they didn't want they didn't want that bait so uh probably catch them on live bait but uh, let's go fishing out there, and uh, let's see how we do today. Make sure y'all subscribe, uh, Lord willing. Uh, I'll have a couple more days of decent fishing while I'm here. We'll see. So make sure you subscribe, click that like button, and uh, let's go down there and go fishing. Come on, baby. Yes. Finally. Keep an eye on that school. I just had that's right there, right there on the beach. Right there on. Look at there. Awesome. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up and get him back in.
catch another one. There he goes. That's a big red fish. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. That hey, wasn't that red fish, it's another blue. I'll take him. enough I'd rather not get any hooks in my finger this morning be still I'm talking about nice blue fish. Let him go. Let's keep going. Where are they at? Oh, fish. I can see them out in front of me. Maybe some redfish. I see one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We gotta get on. Lady fish, come on. They're right here straight in front of me. Fish on, fish on. Spit it. Come on.
a huge school of ladyfish right here. Stingray. Whoa. Come on, baby. Let's just get you in. Come on. How about that? There we go. Poor man's tarping right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lake. Thank you. I've had a tough time trying to catch these, any fish since I've been here. There he is. What that is? That's not a pompano. Leave in the comments below if you know what that is. Yes, sir. Man, I am so thankful that, uh, seaweed was about was able to get out of here and it was pouring down rain when i woke up this morning so i didn't really think i was gonna get to fish but uh we got a break in the weather enough for me to come out here and catch some fish 
I told y'all it was gonna happen. Or I, ha I had faith that it was. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's either a shark or a dolphin. Just right, that's a dolphin. Y'all see that? Dolphins up here eating those ladyfish and bluefish and all, I'm sure. There's a lot of stingrays out this morning. my bait right in front of his face. He didn't have one, nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, lady fish and blue fish. The seaweed's so bad, man. Yeah. But I, I did see a lot of redfish swimming. They won't have nothing to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the seaweed gets out of here soon. How long has it been like that? For a while. It ain't getting. I've seen, I've seen complaints on forums the last couple months about that, so. It ain't gonna leave then. Nope. Yeah, have a good one, man. All right, so that's uh, that's gonna wrap up today's video. It's a pretty good little fishing trip, good little run, and I love that little gotcha. Uh, I was using a seven eighths ounce, as you can see in the video, gotcha. Uh, silver and chartreuse so they're cheap they're easy to use and fish like them. and if there's Spanish mackerel out there man they hammer bluefish too you saw that but uh, it can get a whole lot better than that what I caught this morning but it was semi slow morning but I'm tell you what I was grateful to catch for what I caught never take for granted whenever you got a fish on the end of your line and you got decent conditions because man it's been tough but uh, Appreciate y'all tuning in, and uh, hopefully, Lord willing, I'll be fishing somewhere again tomorrow. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Today's video, I'm headed to the Bob Sykes Pier down here in Pensacola, Florida. I'm going to be targeting mangrove snapper. And uh, it's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm fixing to head down there to the local bait shop and uh, get some live shrimp and a few other things and uh, hopefully we'll get on some fish this morning but uh, for those of you that don't know I'm uh, from, from uh, North Louisiana and I'm just down here in Pensacola Florida on vacation with my family and I'm uh, we're down here for seven days in the past uh, Every morning I go fishing for about three hours and then I hang it up. So. All right, guys, I got my shrimp and got my terminal tackle that I need. Let's head to the pier. Uh, by the way, this is the the local bait shop around here. It's called Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle. Super nice guys in there. Y'all go fishing down here. Make sure you stop in there. Nice guys. About jerked the rod out of my hand. Dang, let's get him this time.
There we go. Still fun. The heck is that? It's a vapor. All gone. There you go guys, there's your verse for the day. Got bit as soon as I dropped it down. Come on, baby. Take it this time. Take it. Here we go. Got off. Bunch of bait stealers, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get any of those uh, little snappers that were running through the fields the other day? That's what I'm fishing right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's for stealing my bait. Dang. Pretty fish. That's a beautiful fish. You see them teeth? I bet they'll get you. He ain't big enough. Finally. Finally. Thank you, Lord. We're looking for. Let go of my hook, boy. Fish. That's probably a keeper, but I didn't bring my ruler and I'm almost out of shrimp, so.
bucket. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up today. I'm probably going to come back tomorrow and combine these two videos together. Oh, that is some greedy fish, I tell you that. I thought uh, I thought bluegill were bad, but uh, mangrove snapper, I went through 24 shrimp and uh, got three in the boat, or on the pier rather. So, uh, I hung probably three others, but as soon as, you, as soon as he hits that circle, you better be, you better be setting the hook. So, about to go out to, be, to the beach with the family and uh, spend the rest of the day with them, but I had a good time out there fishing and uh, see y'all in the morning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Let me set the stage for today's video. As you can see, I'm down here at the beach. We're in Pensacola, Florida. We just arrived last night, so I did a little quick fishing trip on the beach this morning. All I did was bring a, a bass rod with a 15 pound monofilament, nothing special. And uh, honestly, I started out this morning when the waves weren't quite so bad with a rattle trap, but as the waves uh, got worse, uh, the action for that rattle trap, it just wasn't happening with all that wave. So I tied on a spoon. This is the spoon I used. I hope you can see that. There we go. This is better. There's a spoon I used right there. And uh, I probably lost maybe 20 fish on this spoon. And they were mainly, uh, well, I ain't going to spoil the video. So um, I modified this for tomorrow. I tied a... Uh, a treble hook to the back of this treble hook as a uh, a stinger I guess you would call it or a trailer hook you know for for insurance so hopefully a lot of those fish tomorrow uh, won't get off but uh, I got into a school of them there down there on the beach pretty good and um, just right back there right back there behind where everybody all these condos here here's a strip there's a portofino that tall building you see right over there. But this condo was about seven, eight hundred dollars cheaper for seven days, so we decided to stay here. But uh, had a good time, caught some fish, and I uh, hope y'all enjoy this video. This is just a video showing you that um, um, you can do this yourself. You know, you ain't gotta have nothing special. Just bring some bass rods down here and. Uh, I actually left them biting on these fish for an hour and a half and uh, you'll see coming up how many how many fish I caught. I didn't just wear them out but uh, I had a good time so I definitely caught more than that out here before. Here we go. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming with me. Let's go fishing right down there on that beach right there. Fish on. Fish on. Little blue fish. Fish on. Oh yeah. I don't know what I got. Feels good. 
kind of feels like a cat. No, I see it. Come on, baby. It's right there in the first wave. Don't get off. Might be foul hook. A big blue fish or a nice blue fish. He was hung. Man, that felt good. He definitely wasn't coming off. All right, guys, just let him go. I might keep some of these tomorrow. Fish on, fish on, lady fish. There she goes. Fish on, fish on. We on them, boy. Fish on. Let's see what we got now. Another blue fish. There we go. On a rattle trap. It's number four. Maybe they're going to turn on. I don't know. Oh, you see that? He jumped all the way out of the way. Ladyfish. All right, so I've had two bites ever since I've, I've started stopping and going. I let it sink a little bit. And pop, pop, stop. Pop, pop, stop. That. Pop, pop, stop. There goes a the fish right there. All right, there's a school. Come on.
Let's go. Where are y'all at? Let's see if we can get there to them. Right there. We're in them. Here we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Let's see what I think it's a lady fish. Yep. It got off. Lady fish. Let's get another one. There he is. Fish on. No, oh, he got off. We got a school of them coming through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got to hurry. We got to hurry. Pop, pop. Pop, 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 right there. Yep, fish on, lady fish. Ooh, that sucker's pulling. Ah, lady fish are hard to hook. Fish on. Let's take him easy. These things pull, son. He got off. Still fun. All right, let's keep going. Maybe they're still there. Come on. I think there's a big school out in front of me. Missed it. Fish are finally moving through. It ain't gonna last long. There he is. Dang. Suckers are impossible. There's a school right there where I just threw. You can see, you can see him busting the water. There he is. Got off. Nah. At least, I was, at least I was getting bit with the spoon. They may not stay button. There he is. Dang. I'm gonna have to figure something out about this. I'm gonna have to build a another treble hook on this spoon or something. I've lost way too many. There he is. Stay on, stay on. Come on, stay on. Ah. There he is. Come on, stay on. That might be a bluefish. Nope. Stay on. Come on, baby. Don't come on, come on. Finally. It's good he swallowed it. He ain't gonna survive. Let's go! Right here. I see him. Thank you. 
Big school, big school. Where'd they go? They're over here. They're over here. Come on. Let's go chase them down. Here we go. Come on, come on. Y'all see that school? Y'all see that school? Come on. Come on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Stay on. Stay on. Ladyfish. Here we go. He ain't gonna make it either. Fish on. Let's get back out there. Where'd they go? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Appreciate it, man. I'd have never saw. Yeah. Where are they at? I'm talking about it as a school. Where they are right here right there. I hope y'all can see that. There he is. He's on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, he got off. Just keep going. Just keep going. Right there. Here we go, here we go, come on. Fish on, it's every cast, every cast. Right here, come on, stay button this time. Every cast. There he is, I saw him eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with something. Here. Whenever y'all see a school like this, just keep following them. They're gonna stay with those bait fish. Saw them last right over here. You've got to be kidding me. I finally catch another one. And my SD card is messing up. Sorry guys. School's still there. Let's catch another one. They're right there. Fish on. Here we go. Fish on. Stay on. Come on. Yep. Stay on. Let's keep it for bait. Yes, sir. Fish on, boy. What do we have here? Foul hook. Quit. Foul hooked ladyfish. I was walking back to the condo and I seen another school and I couldn't help myself. Up, up. All right, that's enough. You 
think they might frown on me uh, going in this condo with these fish. We made it. Huh? Ah, uh, you got a bag? Yeah, huh? Oh, there's no. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Um, y'all come down here next time y'all go fishing down here on the beach, anywhere, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, uh, Pensacola. Anywhere. Yeah, Pensacola Beach. Pensacola Beach. Anywhere. And it's the park. best one ever. Anywhere you go, you can catch them just like I call them this morning. You ain't got to have nothing special. They got two fish. <laughs> I, brought, I brought two fish back to cut bait to use for bait later. Yeah, we uh, Y'all make sure you subscribe because hopefully I'll have six more videos, hopefully, if the weather cooperates, to go along with this one. If I catch fish those other, those other days, I'll be able to post those next six fish trips. And you can drink your coffee out here. Out here. I had some coffee out here too. So here in a little bit we're about to go out there as a family and yep. enjoy the rest of the day. I might throw out some tight lines What's and uh line? with with some cut bait or some uh some fish bites or whatever. But I plan on taking her in the morning. Tinley, that pole, hold on, wait, wait, wait. All right, get him. Real, 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 real. Keep it tight. Good job. A little bit more. Awesome job. Keep pulling. Real, real, real. Atta girl. Atta girl. Keep it tight. That's a whiting. Reel it up some more. All right. Hey, pay attention. Look at that. All right, keep it. He's going back in. Wait, are we? Good job. Give me five. Was that fun? Yeah. Fishing. Super. Yeah, we're going to get up super early. They're out there. And y'all can catch them. So, bye bye. we'll catch y'all on the next video. It's five more videos. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, it's been a I hear you. Oh yeah, what have we got here? First cast. First cast. First cast. Look at that. Yes. Spanish. Heck yeah.
Look at that. Perfect sunrise and a Spanish mark. Alright guys, thanks for the fight buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Let's get right back out there. Caught him on a gotcha. They were out of live shrimp this morning, so I tied that on real quick. First cast. So hopefully they're stacked up right here. Those Spanish mackerel, man, they are aggressive fish. So if they're there, you usually get bit. I'm just twitching it. That time I was just twitching it and letting it fall. That's the first Spanish of this trip, uh, our beach trip down here, which is kind of abnormal. I usually catch some on the surf, but surf fishing is terrible. Seaweed everywhere. Come on, man. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good, you? They was out of live shrimp this morning. Were they? Yeah. I got some. I just I caught a Spanish the first cast. How's that? Yeah. Look on. I got you. Did you wind up catching your last one yesterday? No, I caught about five. Left, they were all short. About eight inches. Eight, eight inches, yeah. I bought some dead shrimp just to I see. Did you? Yeah. The keeper? Yeah. That was about 15 and a half. Where'd you say you were from again? Okay, I got you. I got to go home today. Yeah, I got to go home tomorrow. And then one last session before you got to go, huh? Yeah, we're going to hit the road about 8 probably. I was really hoping I could come out here and get my revenge on the snapper. <laughs> kind of rough when you ain't got no bait. Yeah, I doubt they fool with those dead shrimp. I don't know though. Always got to have one of those gotchas in your tackle box though. There he is. Oh, what you got here? Oh boy. Yeah. 
I don't know. No. I don't want to break this line. Oh, shoot. I think he's going to break me off trying to get him up here. It's a big, it's a good size Spanish. You ain't got a net, do you? Spanish? Little mangrove. That's a nice one. Fish on. Wow, hooked him. Yes, sir. Let's just let him go. There he is. Nice fish. Thank you, buddy. That fish was right up under that school. Bait fish right there. It's been a minute since I caught one. I just got smashed twice. Just got bit twice right there. You got a mangrove. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Smoked it, son. 
Whoa, he got off. God, what was it? Spanish. Son. Yeah. What is this? Right next to the pilot or what? Yeah, I was jigging it. Hey, it was big. Whatever. I thought I was home. I wasn't. Oh my. I won't have this light gear next time. I don't know what that was. My SD card was messing up. I don't know how much I got of that. Sorry. I was jigging it next to this pylons right there. Wow. There. There is no telling what that was. Man. I'd love to have seen it. It's about 7.30. I don't have much more time. And we got to head back to Louisiana and get back to work. Right about there. Let's try it again. Tide's pushing out, so it was kind of carrying my bait that way. I can kind of leave it in the strike going a little bit longer. You can see how long it's taking me to get this cast in because of the, the tide. I'm just jerking it up, popping it, letting it sink back down. One little crank. These gotchas look really good. There's no doubt that when they bite this bait, it's a reaction strike. They ready to eat. I hope I at least got some of that on film. Ah, he missed it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all see him? And they are right on that piling. There he is. Dang! I left my pliers over here. They're gone. I put them on top of your metal bucket. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I've seen them over by the edge. I said, that's going to get kicked in. <laughs> Appreciate it. You too. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Hip. Yep. Okay. It's got a big deer head for a logo. Okay. Good to meet y'all.
There he is. Dang it. I watched him hit it, man. Can y'all see all those big fish around that piling? That is hard to compete with. Dude, there's red fish, there's everything in that school. Come on, bite it. Throwing right in there with them. I mean, there is everything. I don't know if y'all can see all those fish. Dude, it is crazy. Big red fish. I mean, they are swarming. Come on, just one, come on. They don't have nothing to do with this. Come on. Dude, yeah. There was red snaps coming up, red seeds, mangroves. On the that thing, that sucker. <laughs> there you go, right there. Oh, you got it. Oh, he tried. I don't know. Y'all see that crab? That blue crab? Is that a blue crab? Man, I've tried and tried. Oh, he missed it. Dang, gum it. Yeah. Good luck to y'all. You want them shrimp? Hey man, if you want to see, uh, I got all this on YouTube. If you want, yep, this uh, Redline Outdoors. Redline Outdoors. Redline, like fireman flag. That's what I do for a living. I won't say I've heard of that. Okay. Yep, it'll be on there. It's mostly whitetail hunting, but I got uh, I got a little bit of fishing on there. You a deer hunter? Oh yeah. You kill some deer? Yes, sir. Uh, you want to be on YouTube? You watch YouTube? Yes, sir. G give us a shout out. Red Line Outdoors. Red Line Outdoors. You want to close it out for me? Just tell them, tell them your name. Tell them they need to follow his channel. Red, Red Line Outdoors. Where are you from? Here? Shemucca, Florida. Shemucca, Florida. What's your name? Rolling. Rolling. It's good to meet you, buddy. You're going you gonna to be on YouTube, all right? If it's all right with your dad. <laughs> All right. Good luck to y'all. Hopefully he'll catch some of those fish before he gets out of here. Him and his son, man, those fish are getting getting after it on them on that pile. They just wouldn't wouldn't touch nothing. But uh, some nice people back there. Had a pretty good morning. Uh, lost several, caught several. Had a good time overall. Uh. Thank goodness I had a gotcha in, a, in my tackle box. I was able to catch a couple of those Spanish. All they had at the base store was dead shrimp. I was really wanting to target mangrove snappers, but hey, I'll take whatever. Those Spanish were a lot of fun. So This is called the Bob Sykes Pier. You do not need a fishing license to come here. It's in Pensacola, Florida. There's just about anything you want to catch off this sucker. You spend a little time, and, you know, you can go to that local tackle shop that I went to this morning. I think it's called Gulf Breeze Tackle. And
and uh, they'll give you some pointers, point you in the right direction, and uh, go from there. You don't have to have no fancy fishing poles. All this is bass rods. And, uh, of course, I, I wish I had some heavier tackle because I on a couple of fish uh, that would have handled me on that uh, bait caster. So I'll probably be investing in a nice spinning rig that in case I do get bit by something big, at least I can try to get him up. So it's time for us to go home back to Louisiana. This is the Bob Sykes Pier, Pensacola, Florida. There's the bridge that goes over the pass. And this is actually used to be a bridge and it was damaged by a hurricane. And it was, they converted it into a fishing pier, fishing bridge, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell. We'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.